Hi, it's Melanie and welcome or welcome back. Not too long ago I watched Natasha from Treasure Books video on her altered book of pockets and I thought it might be something fun to try myself. I had this book in my pile to go back to the free library and thankfully it was perfect for this project. It had nice thick pages and sewn in signatures which were perfect uh, to tear out. I removed about three quarters of the original pages and I think I was left with 54 pages in total. That number is slightly different to what Natasha ended up with uh, and there are a couple of pages in here that don't have folded pockets which we'll see in a minute. I've left the fly sheet attached and unglued at the moment. I think I might turn this into a pocket. I'm not sure exactly how yet. I filled the pages with napkins and tissue paper because I didn't want to add too much bulk to the, the book itself. Uh, I've taken some images that I found free on the internet and printed them out and used some wallpaper as well. It's a large pocket in here. I've left some of the facing pages quite blank uh, just to give a little bit of relief from the pattern on the other side. This one has a large pocket and another large pocket on the back. This one flips open and has a pocket here. When you turn it over it also has a pocket here. And also a secret pocket on the back, which I'm finding are a little bit difficult to get into. I've left them quite narrow. And if you watch Natasha's video, she does recommend that when you're gluing these smaller pockets, you really glue right to the edge so that you leave as much room as possible. So this is only going to fit maybe like a long book tag or something. Sorry, a bookmark, something like that. This one has a large pocket and I've used a stitched pockets die for this one here and what I've done is I've glued at the bottom of each of these little areas here just to make shallow pockets. This is one cut at an angle, this pocket in here. This one has two pockets and another large one on the back. This one has a diagonal pocket here and another tuck at the back and this is some vintage wallpaper lining that pocket and on the back there is a pocket in here if I can get my card in which is a long one. And then another one here. This page cuts in half and has a pocket here and then another long narrow one here. And so as I mentioned <laughs> they're a bit squeezy to get into. This one isn't even going to fit a business card uh, and some of my napkin is coming up so I'm going to have to glue that back down. So this is fun. Two pockets. This one is folded up and has a pocket at the front and then one behind. And I've got die cuts and this is a Tim Holtz, um, some more napkin here. This one I left a full page without a pocket because I really liked this pattern. This one has a paper bag on the back and I've glued it so that you can tuck something in behind. Now this one, if I remember, has one long pocket at the front and then two pockets here. And I thought about stitching um, along here, but I didn't do that, so I've just glued underneath. So when I add things to it, it'll become more apparent that there are two pockets. I've actually made a hidden one here with the wallpaper. And on the back I've put a couple of little paper bags which you can tuck into and I've also glued them so that you can tuck behind them. I've kind of 
matched the themes because I like matching, I like matching colours, I like matching um, patterns uh, or images. This one is folded so that you can tuck in here and then tuck in here and you could tuck another one in here I suppose and also you can tuck in here. And this is some wallpaper on the front with a napkin. There's a die cut. This one is a long narrow page which is a little bit easier to get into. There's another long pocket here. And another shorter page here with the long pocket. This one has a very deep pocket and one of my favourite napkins with forget-me-nots. This one has a tuck behind the paper bag and also in the paper bag. And this one has a large pocket here. On the back I have a diagonal pocket here and then another tuck here. And this is a pocket here. And then when you flip the top open, there is a pocket in here and also a pocket in here. So lots of places to put fun things. This page I haven't put anything on yet. Um, I haven't decided what should go here. But this one, if I remember, has two small pockets here or two small tucks and then three small tucks here. So they'll be suitable for tags or long narrow cards. On the back I've made a belly band with a tea bag and this is some wallpaper that I've punched circles from to make the flower. There's a large pocket with a napkin on the front and some sewing pattern paper behind it. <coughs> I think this is my favourite because I really love the red and white polka dots. Uh, this is a pocket here and then when you flip this open you have a pocket up here and I think I'm going to add something here to cover up the join of these two papers and I, I really love the way that looks. On the back I have a small paper bag pocket here and then I've glued it so that you can tuck behind it. I also have a large pocket here. And I've got a small pocket on the back here. This one flips over. I've got a large pocket here. And each of these are individual small pockets that when you flip over, show you the mushrooms and things that I've taken from napkins and some stickers to glue behind. And I thought that went nicely with the deer in the forest. And here is another pocket and I have to glue the top of this bit closed here. And that's the last page. So lots of fun um, and I've been enjoying this as a nice distraction from the lockdown that we're currently in. Right now the book is sitting nice and flat uh, and doesn't have uh, any gaping covers but the moment I start filling it it's going to double or maybe even triple in size so I think I'm going to have to adjust the spine and give it a new one so that it will sit flat because I don't want it to bulge open so what I think I will do is remove the text block and give it a longer a wider spine and put the covers back on. So maybe I will sit with you and we can fill the pockets with some fun things that I find which will probably be matching um, and let me know if you've also followed along Natasha's video and made your own book. Uh, I'll have a link to her video in the description box below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!